now time for me to tell you whom I've selected to compete against me for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. After my series of matches with Randy Orton, I really started gaining momentum, and both the WWE Universe and Superstars took notice. One of those superstars was none other than my former Velocity opponent, John Cena. I select Daniel Bryan. We've both obviously come a long way since that match. But John was on another level. John Cena is an 11-time WWE Champion! This was my chance to really prove I belonged in the main event picture on a major show like SummerSlam. And the question is, for Daniel Bryan tonight, will he become the next John Cena? Or the first Daniel Bryan? We even had Triple H as our special guest referee. What could possibly go wrong? Weeks of anticipation finally leads to this. The most polarizing individual in WWE history, John Cena, on his demand with an... And the tie-up, make no mistake about it, this is all about skill, determination, and power. These are two men who are proud of who they are. Daniel Bryan calling John. On the topic of Cena, he might have it. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Long time, Michael, and Daniel John have been on a distinctively different path since that night. He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Byron said these two have been on different journeys since they first met, Corey. Daniel Bryan believes his path has given him a deeper love for our sport. Well, in Daniel's opinion, if John Cena were fired tomorrow, he'd go back to his mansion and his multi-million dollar lifestyle and never wrestle again. If Daniel Bryan gets fired, and it has happened. Oh, nasty impact. Oh. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Michael, you remind us of Randy Orton possibly lurking in the shadows with that Money in the Bank contract. The Viper could be more like a vulture tonight if he chooses to cash in that contract. I don't think either John or Daniel have any room in their mind to be thinking about anything else other than the task at hand, gentlemen. Vicious strike. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Going all the way up. Looking for the finish. He can't withstand one bit more. Interesting quote from John Cena at the SummerSlam press conference this past Tuesday in L.A. John Cena told Daniel Bryan, and I quote, You have an opportunity this Sunday not only to gain my... His shoulders are down. And he got a near fall out of it. He's still in this. Conference. I think Daniel Bryan's been on a road of defining himself. You see the excitement from the WWE Universe? It isn't too dissimilar to the rise we've seen with guys like The Rock and John Cena. There's a different feeling to Bryan, though. Uh, Daniel's rise feels like it's, it's coming from the underground, based around a guy, Daniel Bryan, who just wants to be the best at his job. And he's proud and foremost being a wrestler. He wants it one more time. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Guys, there's a stark difference in the accolades between Daniel Bryan and John Cena. Bryan's never held the WWE Championship, while John Cena has held it. That will rock him. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? The end may be near. Leg is trapped. There it is. STF, the FTF locked in. Is he going to make him tap? I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Oh, he turns it around. Again, guys, John Cena is an 11-time WWE Champion. Daniel Bryan just wants it once. He wants to be Daniel Bryan. Oh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you that... Uh-oh, Forearm going to cut off the win. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Oh, but it's a reversal. Uh, going to the top, high risk. 
Look at this. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's going for it all. Look out. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. This is it. Look at this. Game, set, match. This one is over. At what point do those thoughts creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I, I don't know. Is it done? Nailed it. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Oh, what a cross face. That should do it. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Daniel Bryan oh, caught by Cena. Unbelievable power from Cena. Got him in position for the AA, perhaps. Daniel Bryan oh, rolls him up. Shoulders oh, down to win the title on a kick out. Oh, so close. Oh, he caught him in the back of the neck. Nice recovery for Daniel Bryan. The Ryan feels it. Yeah. Ryan has seen it where he wants him. Could this be his moment? Ryan knee. Cover it. New champion. Bucks the new champion. Ryan is the WWE champion. He did it. And new WWE champion. Tribulations for Daniel Bryan. Bryan. And he can now call himself champion. Daniel Bryan celebrates massive moment at SummerSlam. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. The former champ clearly objecting to the situation. Not objecting, Corey. Shaking his hand. That, is, that shows you how much of a class act. John Cena is to say, hey, Daniel, tonight you were the better man. Triple H now celebrating with the new champion. You can only imagine what's going through Daniel Bryan's mind right now. This has got to be the greatest moment of his career. No doubt about it, Corey. I oh, no. What's that? Right here, they can't me. They understand. They oh, me. my God. Orton has the money, the bank contract. Hey, guys, you, you don't think now... You don't think now Randy Orton's thinking about casting in, do you? Daniel Bryan says he's ready, but is that smart? He just went through a grueling war with John Cena. Orton might be having second thoughts. More mind games from the Apex Predator. Another off. Uh... And Daniel Bryan's celebration continues. Randy Orton still.